Okay, so hello and welcome back to another video. Uh, this is going to be a Python task video. Uh, the last three I did were kind of introductory tutorials, but now I'm going to start doing actual tasks. Um, I might just look online to find tasks or I'll find some that I've done at school or whatever. And I'll simply show you the task and you can try and make it yourself if you want. And then you can pause the video and do that. Or you can just watch how I go along and do it. Now, for this one, I found a... Um, task which is a dice rolling simulator which is going to be very simple but I'll show you some additional things we can add to make it a bit better and this video is going to be a tutorial video for beginners kind of or people who are just getting into Python so if you already have done quite a bit of Python this will be easy enough for you you can do it if you want or you can you know go away if you want but uh, it's up to you this is just to help uh, people get into uh, thinking how to solve problems rather than just this is an integer this is a blah 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 um, and after this, I'll find more and more complicated ones and we'll be build up. But this is the first task video, so I'll keep it simple now. Uh, so here we go. Simply, I'm not going to read it all out. You can read for yourself, but we're going to pick a number on a die, one to six. And then it's going to tell you what that number is and ask if you want to roll again. That's simple. And then I'll show you how to maybe like display on screen nicer, like the dice you got. And I'll show how to roll uh, two or maybe like get you to choose one or two. So. We'll build the simple program here, then you can go away if you want, or you can stay and watch uh, for the extra bits. So, the simple bit first is um, picking a random number between 1 and 6. Now, random, picking random numbers, uh, Python can do that, but there is no built-in function for like random. So, what you need to do is we need to import a library. Now, I haven't covered that in my Python tutorials, I've covered it in other tutorials. Uh, a library is, well, it's a pre-made code. Uh, I wish I could bring it up actually one sec. So if I go uh, import random, uh, if I go import random, can I perhaps go to random? I'm not sure if I can. But basically, um, it will be somewhere in the Python files. I could go find it. Um, it's just a normal piece of code like this file, and it has lots of different um, functions. Like we make functions, def, uh, whatever we want to call it. We make our own functions to do code. Um, in these libraries, there are pre-made functions, and there's one called random, and that does code on how to pick a random number. Now, rather than having to rewrite the code every time we want a random number, we can just use random. And to get a random number, you can do like random dot range. Uh, whoops, random dot, well, rand range. Um, now the thing is we want to get an integer. So what we're going to do is we could have like um, number equals uh, random dot randint. And then inside the parameter, we put two numbers um, that we want it to pick between. Now, as you see here, it says uh, picks, or well, returns a random integer in the range a, b, which are the two parameters, including both ends. Now on a die, we want one to six. So we're gonna put one comma six because it's gonna include both. So it could give us one, two, three, four, five or six. Now, if we then just get it to print number and we run it, we get six, we'll run it again, we get one and so on. And we're gonna get between one and six every time. Now, really, that, that's, that's a simple way of making this program. You know, you run the program, you get a random number, but we want them to be able to, um, we want them to be able to go again. Now, the way you would repeat things, like the way we could do it is copy and paste this loads of times. We're not going to do that. We're going to put it into a function, which we can call again and again. Now, to make a function, we use def to define the function. We're going to call it uh, roll dice. Um, and we're going to give it, it as no parameters. It just does it. And it's going to run this code. So we'll put it in. So now whenever roll dice gets run, it does that. Um, and we'll actually put the print in there as well. I don't see why not. Now, if we run it, nothing's going to happen because this is now inside the function. But this function's never getting ran. So we can run roll dice like this, which is, whoops, I accidentally went into a different debugging mode. Um, so yeah, we can run roll dice. We don't need the semicolon in Python. Uh, and there we go, it does the thing. Now, we want it to run that again. So obviously you could just, you know, run it again. The problem is, you would have to do it however many times. So, one thing we can do is 
we can make like a kind of menu. Um, well, actually, no, at the end of this, we'll just ask if we want to run it again. So we'll do, um, ooh, no, let's just do the menu. I like the menu way more. So we're going to make a function for the menu. So we'll call it menu. That's going to take nothing in. And we're going to kind of print a menu just to look very simple. So we can have uh, option one is uh, roll a dice. Um, then we can have option two is roll two dice. Um, then we can have like print that. And then we can have uh, option three exit. Whoops, I'm not done. Thing. Exit program. Now let's see what this looks like when we start off by running menu. So it should just give a visual thing. Okay, that looks a bit horrible on here actually. <laughs> um, but as you can see, uh, well, the reason why it says press any key to continue is because it has nothing else to do at the end of this. So we want to take an input. So let's do um, int, well, we'll put a choice equals int input. So we're taking in an integer and it's going to be between one and three. Uh, we'll just say like enter here, colon space. I'm leaving a space here so that um, after the text there is a gap before you know putting in the character so it looks a bit nicer. Um, and keep in mind all these prints are just visual, they don't mean anything, that's just kind of the menu UI. And Python isn't made for designing UI, this is just a neat way to do it in here. And I'll obviously close the brackets. Um, and now we can make some ifs, so we can do uh, if uh, choice is equal to 1 do this, uh, if choice is equal to, do this, and if uh, choice is equal to free, do this. And for free, we're going to do exit. Exit just closes the program. Um, choice one, we will uh, run roll dice. And for now, just ignore this, but I'll just put uh, roll dice here too. I'm going to show you like, uh, after this how to make it so that we can put in as many rolls as we want to do. Um, so now if we run it, and it says one, roll a dice. Uh, well, what we'll do is um, we'll put uh, roll multiple dice. That's the way I will have it work. So we've got a roll of dice, roll multiple dice, uh, exit program, enter here. Now, one thing I forgot to do is put a free for exit program. And also, let's just put some more of these uh, dashes in. This really isn't necessary. I'm just being nitpicky to make it look okay. It doesn't look great, obviously, because it's just thingy in Python, but hey. Um, I'll also print a um, blank line just by putting print so that there's a gap. There we go. That's looking a little bit better. It's just showing if we press free and then enter, it closes the program. So that's what exit does. I think you can also do quit. Yeah, quit and exit do the same thing. Uh, I'm used to using exit, but whatever. Um, now we need to write the actual function. So as you know, if we press one, roll a dice, it does four. Um, then at the end of roll a dice, what we'll do is we'll get it to run menu, right? So it goes back to the menu. So one, roll a dice, we get four. And it goes back to the menu. Now, nothing in here is going to look nice. All these lines, you can put spaces in if you want to make it look nicer. Keep in mind, Python is for doing things behind the scenes rather than uh, the front end stuff. So it doesn't exactly look nice, but it works. The point is you make, you're make you solving a task, right? Um, so now we can you know get it to pick a number and do it again. Now what we could do is we can make it so this roll dice function takes in a number. So we're going to take in a number called, uh, well, like rolls, which is going to be how many rolls. And we'll do um, for i in range zero comma rolls now if you remember from last time uh this is how we do a loop it's gonna do it for um well however many times between zero and the amount of rolls so um we can now put the code in here i don't know why it's indented that many times um and we go back to the menu after doing the loop now rolls what we need to do is if we're going to roll a dice we just send in one roll and then for this one, 
we're gonna do is um we could yeah what we'll do is we could do this in a separate function but for now i'll do it here we can do um uh roles equals int input uh how many roles question mark and then we can do uh roll dice and pass in roles so what this is doing is once we've chosen option two it's going to ask us for a new thing how many roles do we want and then we're going to run the function with that many roles so by default if you just press one it's going to roll it once six if we press two it's going to say how many so let's go for 23 and here we go we've got 23 rolls of the dice so as you see it's very flexible now we can you know simply just roll one or we can roll as many as we want or we connect to the program so this works now one last thing i'm going to do just for um just for the sake of it looking nice um well it's not really going to look that nice but you know just to show you something you can do if you want instead of just printing the number we'll do uh print uh dash 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 uh print uh dash plus str number which converts the number from a number to a string i went over strings last time um and we put another dash after it and then we'll print dash 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 and then we'll run roll a dice boom here's our dice it's a really bad die dice but it's basically just got this thing turning outside with a number in the middle obviously that's not how die actually work they have dots instead but i'm not going to sit here putting dots in each part of the die it's just going to be so time consuming but let's try uh running uh multiple uh 10 i don't know how this is going to work well, there we go. We've got um, our one die, our three, our two, our six, and so on. Um, and to be honest, if you want to split those up, you can just do a print empty, which will just, uh, you know, let's roll ten. There you go. So we've got a four, six, two, five, one, four, two, one, three, three, which makes it a lot nicer to read actually. Um, but anyway, you know, you can just sit here. We're going through rolling a die, 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 um, or you can exit the program when you want. Now there will be error messages if, for example, you enter four. It's just gonna it's just gonna close not error message just close um that's because it doesn't know what to do when you enter four so it's just going to ignore these ifs and end um if you entered some words that is you get when you get an error because it's not a number um in other videos in the future i'll show you how to work around those errors it, i mean obviously you're just not going to enter words into a enter a number thing but you want to make there be a catchment and exception in case people do by accident or maybe they'll just enter nothing like this enter nothing happens now you can't do anything um so you want to take into consideration that now we finish this task we used random <laughs> that's a bad outline we used random we imported it so we could use the function random.random which is nicely highlighted in pink um we used integers for the random integer so we get only whole numbers because it's a die we used printing to make a nice die and also just to print the menu and it says on here you could use while loops, but I just used a for loop instead, you know, because, well, they, you can use them in the same way, but it's generally, you know, until you've done it from zero to the amount, so zero to one is obviously one, um, print this. So I covered all the things, we completed the task, we did it. Um, I hope this video helps you start to think about problem solving and how to make a nice little menu and choices and uh, also, we did a uh, functions taking in parameters, which is, uh, you know, not something you generally do in your first ever task, but, uh, you know, this isn't very complicated anyway, so I thought it was a nice thing to start off with. And now I can go into uh, more complicated uh, tasks when you want. Um, I might just keep making these because I, I do like making these kind of videos. Um, I like making pretty much any kind of videos on my channel anyway. Um, if you have any specific suggestions or series on my channel, series, there's that you like uh, the most. So if you like the Python one more and you want more of that, just like the Python ones and comment saying you want more of them. And so I need to know, well, so I can know uh, what's more popular. Um, I can also tell off views, but if I get proper feedback, it does help a lot. Um, if you're new here and you want more tutorials like this uh, or other tutorials, then please subscribe. Uh, I hope this video helped and goodbye. Thanks for watching and goodbye.